Hey gamers, it's Wintermute here from Grind This Game, back with Oxygen Not Included. The old, uh, space base. Well, it's not quite a space base, but... I got some suggestions about building a space base, though. I was thinking about doing that. Putting one way up at the top. Uh, I've done some stuff off camera, so I'll just run through that first. It's kind of boring stuff. I extended my doors and walls and solar along here. I just repeated the pattern that I was doing. It's working pretty well for me. It's not optimal because of these little gaps in the solar panels, but we're getting a lot of power now. Uh, that's the edge of the map over there. Uh, I put more of these scanners in, and we're getting scan quality 22% from this one, and the whole network is 21. So that brings the accuracy up a bit for detecting the asteroids coming in. Oh, what else did I do? I moved this uh, telescope over. I was going to prep some, uh, what I thought I was going to prep some liquid hydrogen making here, but I've done some research about liquid hydrogen, and uh, there's a guy on the clay forums that has built a really nice liquid hydrogen setup. And I've asked permission for him from him to, to use a save file so I can just show you what his setup is because it's really good. And it's much easier just to show you his setup than for me to try to build it. But before we build liquid hydrogen, I, th I was thinking about building liquid oxygen, which is a little bit easier. Uh, a lot of the principles are the same, but it's not as difficult because you don't have to go as low in temperature. Um, and you don't necessarily need the super insulator, which I've been making. Oh, I, I, I had to deconstruct my thingamabob here, my uh, molecular forge, because it overheated. I could make it out of thermium. That would be kind of a waste. I'm going to just build out of steel again. And if it melts down, I'll just keep re rebuilding it, maybe. <laughs> or maybe I'll use thermium. I don't know. It does get pretty hot around here, though. We've got one of these in the base, too, I think. Or I had one up here for show. It's not really hooked up, though. So in this episode, I want to try to do three things. Uh, well, definitely one. Try to build an oxygen cooling system. I don't know if I'll get through it in the episode. I'll at least kind of explain how it's supposed to work. It's pretty involved. Uh, and then... I want to build a, a bristle blossom farm that uses one light bulb that's got a really cool layout, which I showed just the layout for earlier in a earlier in the series. Maybe in the first or second episode, I can't remember exactly. The design is by Hamad Kazim. He uh, sent it to me in my Discord server, and it's pretty cool. I like it. So I'm going to probably use that. We have tons of food left, but... And we still have this mushroom farm. We're living off mushrooms. And we're living off natural grown sleet wheat. So if we look at cooking ingredient, we're kind of out, out of sleet wheat grain at the moment, but it's off out there growing in the in the biomes here. Slowly, but it's free, right? We don't have to fertilize it. We don't have to do anything. Just every, every 72 cycles, we get uh, 18 sleet wheat grains from each of these. And there's quite a few of these ice biomes if I zoom out here. There's one there, one up here. So there's food growing all over the place. And then I do have some pinch of peppers going here, but they only actually grow when I do metal refining because that's where the hot water, hot polluted water goes in there. Steel, I'm missing lime. Maybe I'll make some tungsten just to get some hot water going in there. So liquid oxygen. I gotta figure out where I wanna build it. The problem with building the liquid hydrogen is that if you use insulated pipes, if I go to build some insulated pipes, let's just do this quickly here. Uh, even if I build out of the new fancy insulator, this stuff, which is like the old abyss light, I'm gonna build a little, a little bit of it right here. It has this zero thermal conductivity, but when you build it, it has a certain warm temperature so when you put the liquid oxygen or hydrogen in here, it starts to warm up. And hydrogen has a really uh, 
fine range in terms of its temperature. I'll click on a hydrogen tile here. We got condensation point. When it turns into a liquid at minus 252, and then it turns into a solid only slightly below that. And we also have to use super coolant to be able to get this cooled down. And I'll go to the super coolant. I have it somewhere up in the top here. There was a bottle of it right here. Yeah, super coolant. So it freezes solid at minus 266. So we have not much wiggle room in terms of how cold this stuff can get before it turns into a solid and would break in our pipes. So that's why it's a little bit difficult, a little bit tricky to um, to do. Now the, uh, the, the guy, I forget his name, I wrote it down somewhere, but starts at the end, a Russian guy. He's, he's put a little video on the forums. Maybe I'll link to the forum post and then you can just see what I'm talking about. He also links to his save file, so if you want to load it up and try it out yourself. It's pretty cool, it's a nice design. So maybe I'll just draw it out. I won't do the whole design, but the idea is to have an aqua tuner. Uh, let's see here, under utilities. I won't actually build this stuff, but I'll lay it out inside here. So he builds an aqua tuner. He sends in um, super coolant. Actually, let's just do the, uh, the this thing first. Under pipes, we have a liquid element sensor. So he has a liquid element sensor, and he has a shutoff liquid shutoff valve like this. Actually, I want to rotate it. I'm so used to playing RimWorld, where rotate is E. <laughs> okay, let's try that again. Oh, it's under plumbing, actually. Liquid shut off. So, it's something like this. So, I have a pipe going in. In like this. And we're going to detect the temperature before we either shut off or go in. So if the temperature is too cold, we will uh, loop it through. But if it's warm enough, we'll send it off to the aqua tuner to cool the liquid even more, and then we'll come back down this way. And I think he uses a bridge, something like this, to kind of gap over. And then the output actually comes this way. And it kind of goes in a loop. But he also has an input line to get the super cool in there in the first place. So we would have a pump. I think I actually want a bridge here. I can't remember if he uses a bridge, but something like this, but reversed. So you get super cool in the system first with a pump. You'd have like a little reservoir down here with a little bit of super coolant. Maybe use a bottle emptier. Put your super coolant in there. Oh crap, they're actually building it. I don't want them to build it for real. So you get a little bit of super coolant in a basin. You pump it into the system. It goes in and like I said, if the temperature, the temperature settings for this, let me just think, for liquid oxygen, I wrote it down here somewhere. Yeah, if it's, if it's uh, warmer warmer than 200, minus 210 degrees Celsius, we let it pass into the aqua tuner to cool it down 14 degrees, and it'll come out 14 degrees less. Otherwise, send it back into the loop until it warms up enough that it can go through again. Now, for his hydrogen setup, he has a, a space heater that actually rewarms the hydrogen because it gets too cold. So that's that's kind of the main guts of it right here. Now he has everything in a vacuum. He has like a little reserv like a collection vessel down like this, something like this. So that's where he collects the actual. Okay, I'm 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 missing a part. So he sends in uh, oxygen. I don't think he uses a high pressure vent, but maybe he does. So he sends in oxygen that's been pre-cooled. And that kind of saves you some energy and some time in this system. 
So to pre-cold oxygen, he sends it first through a, a wieswort room full of hydrogen, and then he sends it through a anti-entropy thermal nullifier to cool it even more. And then he sends the cold oxygen in here and it hits this really cold radiant pipe that's full of super coolant. And if it's cold enough, it turns into liquid and collects in the bottom. And then he has a pump at the bottom to actually pull the liquid oxygen out when he needs it. And you could build this all out of the super insulator or a decent insulated tile. And the cold would, or the warm would eventually get in. But you, like I said, you could use super insulator and that's going to work really well, but it's really hard to come by. So what he's done is just use a vacuum. So he builds like a double wall like this. And then he leaves some space and he puts like a, a pump, let's say up here, to evacuate this whole, this whole inside space, which creates a vacuum. And that way no heat can... Oh, stop building that. <laughs> That way no temperature can pass, because uh, temperature can't move through a vacuum. So that's kind of that's kind of it in a nutshell. Uh, I'm going to try to actually build it. Um, maybe. <laughs> we probably won't get liquid oxygen in this episode. Yeah, it's going to take a while to set up. So I might not bother with the vacuum. I might just try to do it in a kind of a sealed chamber. I gotta figure out where I wanna do it as well. Now ideally you would build it right beside your rocket. Because if, where is my rocket? It's off in space, yeah. Because you gotta move the liquid oxygen into your tanks and the longer the pipe is, the more it's gonna warm up along the way. So you kinda wanna build it like maybe, if, if I had space, I would build it right here and then the pipe has to the pipe would be really short to get the liquid oxygen into the into the thing so maybe i should just kind of stuff it in here somewhere i kind of don't want to tear apart my abyssalite layer here uh and we'd have to get everything up here we've got oxygen we've got an oxygen line here already so that's good it's cold here so we could pre-cool it somewhat I could just dig out into here and then we could insulate all this area. I don't want to warm up this area too much. That's that's the issue. Hmm. I guess I'll just dig in. It's going to take a while for them to build all this. Uh, and we need a lot of power. We do have this main heavy wa water over here we could use. I probably should have planned this a bit better. Let's see, uh, where do I want to put it? Oh, we got a meteor shower coming in. I could do it right here. It does take up quite a bit of space. This is already insulated, but this insulation is really, really hot. And it's igneous rock, which is not very good. Maybe I'll just build it in here. Do have some space here? I don't know. <laughs> it's going to be pretty big. We need the aqua tuner. We need a way to cool the aqua tuner. That's the thing I didn't talk about. I was thinking about just dripping water on it and letting the steam evacuate into space or something. But the smarter way is to use a steam turbine to delete the heat that the aqua tuner makes. So you do something like this. He has uh, his aqua tuners. Let's just see here. He has two aqua tuners, but you don't need to. He has two like this. I think they're made out of steel, so they can get really hot. And then he has a chamber like this. I don't want to actually build it because they're going to actually come up and build it, but kind of like a chamber like this. And he uses a door pump, a series of doors to pump the steam from the top down to the bottom. Let me just see here. So, so 
something like this. So this, the aqua tuners tune up as it's cooling the super coolant. They get really hot, and there's a little bit of steam in here that's cool, but it warms up, and then it gets hot enough to go through the steam turbine. And the steam turbine cools the steam a lot, and it ends up up here. And then he uses a door pump, which are cool and nice. Like he uses, I think, four doors plus some automation to push the steam back into this room. But now that we have a, a, th a thermite or whatever it's called, thermium, thermium, we could just do a thermium pump instead and pump that steam down back into here. It would heat up again and then the cycle would continue. And then we could actually use a little bit of the power. It's not for power though, it's for deleting heat. It's a really good way to, to delete heat. So we could try to do that as well. The alternative is just to maybe immerse your aqua tuner in a bunch of like polluted water and it would take forever to heat up. Or you could use oil, but eventually your coolant's gonna heat up and you'd have to take it out and either destroy it. Like if this was polluted water, that we were cooling these down with. We'd take the polluted water out and we'd sieve it, or we'd take it out and put it in some pinch of pepper nut plants, or we'd do something with it. Or we could just dump it into space and delete the heat that way. So yeah, there's a lot to this build. I, I don't think I'm going to fit it into one episode. I might try to just do the beginning part of it in kind of a really roughed out style. I could do it in the bottom of the base as well, but then we'd have to get that liquid oxygen all the way up. I've got a bunch of jobs here I should be dealing with as well. We've got a, Meep is a new dupe, so we're up to 20 dupes now. Meep, you go there, Lindsay, you go. Actually, I think I don't think Lindsay's been here yet. Maybe she has. Let's just do this. Let's see where she can go next. Uh, Exosuit Engineer, that's what we want next. Reggie. Captain G. This kind of stuff I should probably leave out of the video because it's not very exciting. Okay. Okay, where should I do this thing? I think I should just start clearing out some space and do it in here. Or maybe to the left here. Is this space underneath here? No. It's pretty hot in here, but... Uh, let's see. Maybe I'll just do it in here. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Uh, we're just gonna dig down straight into here. We're gonna need an airlock. Because I don't want to... Actually, I don't care if all this flies out into space. That's actually fine if it does. That was priority nine. Probably don't want that. think about how I'm gonna do this. Maybe I'll use the steam turbine thing. I don't I don't know. It was 19 kilograms of polluted oxygen in there. We don't really care though. We don't we don't really need it. It's a bit of a waste, but Okay, I'm gonna build the bottom part first. Let's just rough it out. I should use insulated tile. We're gonna use ceramic. Am I gonna have enough? Probably not, but Okay, let's, let's have a think about this. It has to be wide enough. That we can hold a decent amount of liquid oxygen. We're going to need a pump to get it out of there. Uh, the pump doesn't... It can just be anything, really. Okay, we're going to need to send oxygen in. 
we do have an oxygen line over here, so I'm going to grab that. I want to pre-cool it though, so I don't have a lot of spare Weezwarts, but could build a little pre-cooling room. And really, should we, we should fill that pre-cooling room with hydrogen. There's a lot of steps here. A lot of steps. Uh, this should be insulated as well. It doesn't have to be super crazy insulation though. I'll just use just use igneous rock for this. So it just has to be big enough to hold maybe six weasworts, seven weasworts. Got to break in here. This might be a multi-part series. Oh, a rocket just got back. And I shouldn't be doing anything as priority nine. Furniture. So this will be... I've heard that having Weezworts side by side doesn't work very well, but... I'm going to do it anyway. This could actually come down one, one level. So oxygen will come in, and then we want to use radiant gas pipe, probably out of wolframite because it's really good conductivity. And do something like this. Maybe not like that, but. Radiant gas pipe. Maybe I could have done this one tile higher. And then insulate it again. Now I'm going to use ceramic because at this point I want to keep that temperature going. Now if we had a nullifier here, we'd cool it even more, but the nullifier I have is way down the bottom of the map, so I'm not going to bother with that. And then we would do some automation to say uh, only let the gas in if we're above a certain pressure in here. Or sorry, below a certain pressure, so... If pressure is below um, maybe 100 kilograms or 200 kilograms, then we're going to send in send in the gas. Now I need a shutoff valve. Gas shutoff. That's going to control whether this goes in or out or in or in or not. Let's just use gold. It doesn't really matter. And I. Not sure if I need a not gate or not. Can't remember. Let's let this water drain out of here. I don't need that. Oh, there's a little fish in there. Sorry, Mr. Fish. You are going down below. So we would need automation water from here to the shutoff. Got to think about my uh, super coolant and all that stuff. Okay, we're going to need scaffolding to get down here. I'll just build all this in here. I should, probably should have let that drain first. Just gonna go down there. Uh, I actually want it to go out. Let's make sure I build this in the right order. So this should be. We don't want them doing this yet. Let's do all that as one. Okay, so that's the beginnings of the oxygen container. We 
We're going to have to clear all this stuff out of here at some point. I probably should have done it just up in space, but... Because this pipe's going to be somewhat long. Yeah, this was a bit too low. It should be more like here, because it has to go just to these tanks. Ideally, it would have been here, but I, then I'd have to do background tile and all that stuff first. That would take a long time. Poor fish. He's stuck there. Actually, all that water is going to flow out. That's not what I wanted. Oh, it seems like it's stuck anyway. I don't have a lot of... Sp I don't have any spare weasworts, so... <laughs> I might have to go to space for that. Might have to reconfigure my rocket. Let me just see if I have any spare weasworts. I don't have that many, I don't think. They're, they're busy cooling the things we need cooled. Hmm. The pre-cooling step is optional anyway. It's not super important. It helps save energy, but... Doing this without debug mode is quite slow. Especially because it's at the top of the map and they have to get in their exosuits and come up, come up all the way. Okay, that'll all drain out. Am I harvesting these? I hope so. Is this accessible? Yep. We could even use this water as our coolant to begin with. Really terrible idea, but we could do it. <laughs> yeah, I might do that. Okay, let's build a ladder down here. Like I said, you can use the steam turbine to delete heat. But maybe I'll just use this water. I don't know if it'll last long enough. We're going to cook that fish, though, in the process. And we're going to need power to run all this stuff. Especially, We're going to need heavy watt wire to run it all, because there's aqua tuners and everything. Utility. We need... This thing is 1,200... Yeah, 1,200 watts. I kind of didn't want to bring heavy watt wire all the way over here, but we might have to do that. So, let's just cut a hole through here. Not ideal. I might actually roll back all these changes after I do it, but maybe we'll stick with it. And instead, instead of the crappy heavy watt wire, we don't want to waste all our re regular metal, so I'm going to use refined. Oh, I'm actually low on low on that. Okay, let's use copper. Come across this way. So this will power everything. I can use a transformer for the pump and stuff. A couple of pumps. That's coming down this way. Let's get rid of this. We don't need that. That'll go through there, get pre-cooled. Oh, they're so slow to build this. Just kind of doing this very uh, on the fly. <laughs> and from from memory. So things could go wrong. So we also need our super coolant, so I'll probably prepare that maybe off to the side here. Where should I stick that? Uh, could go in here. Create a little basin for it.
Let's make sure our rocket is continuing on, so let's dig it out. And is it full? It's full of petroleum. We gotta let the gant- oh, I changed up the gantry, so I put a little hydro switch on here. So we just put the gantries out that way. Let's get Hank in there. Let's fill it up with oxalite. And hopefully we don't get a meteor shower. Now, I did have two bunker bunker doors up here, but I forgot to open them before the rocket came back down and they got all melted. And I often forget to bring the gantries back before I launch the rocket, so that's... Oh, we got, st we got stuff in here. We have stuff in here. Why didn't I empty all this? Okay, I'm gonna just... I found someone suggested I just use empty storage. It'll just dump everything on the ground there. But actually, that might have been a really bad idea, because there's some some stuff in here that's going to melt. The melting point of isoresin is 100. So we might have just lost that. I'm going to try to sweep it. Because everything is super hot here. And that's probably going to warm up. Let's just see. Oh yeah. It's, it's warming up really fast. So that's the downside of doing that. Let's do a sweep. Priority 9 of this stuff. And let's build some stuff that takes fullerene so that they use it up. There's nowhere to store fullerene. We just need to get the iso resin before it boils off into space. It might already be gone. <laughs> they might have picked it up though. We also have this vacillator recharge that I haven't used. We could uh, we could use that. We used one in the past episode. I don't want to be too be doing too many things though. We've got to focus on the liquid oxygen. Okay, let's pick a destination, get this rock going. Let's go... I've been going, I th think, here, because that way at least we get metal instead of refined carbon and coal, which I don't really need. So let's go here. Launch mission. Off you go. Oh, I forgot to retract the gantries again. Oh well, it only costs two, 20 steel to repair them. Not the end of the world. Okay, back to the project at hand. Can they build all this? Yes. They're probably not doing it because it's all low priority though. And it takes them forever to get up here. We could actually leave this polluted oxygen in here and see what happens, but it's probably not a good idea. I've got petroleum up here. We don't want that interfering with anything. There go my little creatures. Hard at work. Let's sweep all the crap out of here. Mop it up. Clean it all up. Oh, we got slime in there. That will take some time as well. I should probably allow them to go right through the side here, so they have to go all the way around. I don't want this heat, though. Oh, it's actually not that hot in there. Maybe I'll just open up a little tunnel for them. Just to save time. They can come around this way, and we'll put a little ladder down for them. 
so. We're kind of ruining our ice biome here, letting all the heat in, but we can seal it up after. How cold is this water? 21. Let's get the fish out of there as well. Probably don't want to cook them. I'll quickly show you my gulp farm that I'm trying to build down here. So last episode we started to cool this down. It was at 0.2, but now it's at 4 degrees. And they're much more likely to become gulp fish when they're cold. This one's elderly. He's not going to have a baby, but we do have a egg here. Oh, I added the jukebox. Juke, juke bot. So I'm getting a little bit extra, a little bit of extra entertainment that way. I haven't really checked oxygen in a while. Stress. Food's fine. I, yeah, I broke the gantry. Yep. Okay. So, super coolant. Where am I going to stick that? Just need a little container of it. Um, it doesn't have to be cold either. We just have to get it into the system. Where should I put it? It actually doesn't have to be much at all. And we don't really have a lot of it anyway. Maybe I'll make a little c container here. So right in here we'll make a little tiny container for that. Something like that. Dig all that out. And it's going to need a pump. So we'll do that. I'm going to totally run out of time in this episode. <laughs> we can use regular pipes for this, I think. Because it's going to be warm coolant. We don't care too much. Then we probably want to do insulated. And this is our coolant, so it would be best to use the insulation, but I only have 1600 of it. So I'll probably just use ceramic and hope for the best. This is going to be the super cold chamber, so I have to use. Now it's going to matter. It's going to get warm anyway. It's just to get it into the system, so it doesn't really matter. It doesn't have to be insulated. Ah, oh, there's too much to do. Too much to do. And I don't know if you can tell what I'm trying to build. <laughs> it's pretty disorganized. I'll say that for sure. Let's mop this stuff out. So we'll put some super coolant in here. We'll pump it into the system. I'm going to use a bridge here.
I should probably use a bridge over on the left. Actually, that's going to be our down... Let me think about this a bit. If my aqua tuner is going to be down here, I should probably do it properly and just put an aqua tuner up here. With the steam, steam deal. Uh, maybe I should just do the steam, steam cooling. I didn't want to overcomplicate it. down here and we could use thermium oh wow 1200 don't have a whole lot of it I think steel is enough actually no it's not gonna be enough uh, 300 actually, it should be enough can we I don't think we can rotate oh we can rotate these huh. so super cool it's gonna go into this I'm gonna regret building it down here and then I'm probably gonna end up moving it, but so ceramic in. And ideally I'd be using insulation because it's the perfect insulator, but I don't don't really have much of it. Super coolant coming out. And it has to go in a loop through this chamber. doing here okay that doesn't really need to be ceramic but let's do it anyway this is just to get it into the system and then we actually want radiant pipe out of wolframite we can't use wolframite what Thought we could. Tungsten. Really? I'll use iron then. I think I don't want to do it this way. The way I get this get the coolant in the system first. Kinda of don't want to bridge here. Whoa, I cannot cancel that. Cancel build. This kind of thing is so much easier to show in debug mode <laughs> or in insta build. And I have no idea if it's going to work properly. That's the other thing. And our saves are quite slow. I'm going to need one transformer, so I'm going to build that. This is going to be a complete mess. Let's stick that over here. Iron is fine. Rotate that around. Actually, we want the... Oh. We can't put the heavy watt wire part on the bottom. We could do that, though. <laughs> I don't think I'll need conductive wire, but I'll use it just in case. We gotta power all this stuff. Now I'll need heavy watt wire for the aqua tuner, but for the pumps and stuff, I'll just use conductive wire. Like here. And here. And here. Are we out of igneous rock? No, we have 26 tons. Okay, we're, we're good. Oh, this is going to take way too long. Way too long. <laughs> Maybe I'll finish it off camera and then just describe it to you guys. 
Let's get this blue water out of here. So we'll do a bottle emptier right here. That's where we're going to drop our coolant. We don't want any liquid to go in here. So we'll do a bottle emptier. Mafic rocks, fine. Building entombment. Oh, I guess the rocket's about to land, maybe. No, it says it's in tomb, but it's not really there. It's hidden. That's funny. Okay, I'm probably not going to get around to building the Bristle Blossom farm that I want to show you guys, just because I wanted to focus on this. Okay, here we go. We're going to get coolant in a little basin. There we go. Now we pick super coolant. Priority 8. And then we'll suck it out of there. We'll get it in the loop going. And then we need... We need this part, the uh, oh, under liquid th pipe thermal sensor is going to go right here. And then a liquid shut off. It's going to be super cold. That's okay. That'll go there. And then We want insulated pipe. This is where I should, like I said, use the really good insulator, but. I think I'm doing this right. Oh, I'm supposed to use a bridge there. What am I? I kind of forget what I'm doing here. Okay. Um. <laughs> I think it'll go straight through otherwise, up to the, well, this was going to be up to an aqua tuner, but it's actually down to the aqua tuner, which is kind of far away. So if it's warm enough, it's going down here, into the aqua tuner. It'll get dropped 14 degrees, and then it'll re-enter somewhere <laughs> God. Uh, we enter somewhere along here <laughs> this is a total mess total mess okay does it really matter where it re-enters I don't think so Yeah, I could just go in there, maybe. Come around here. I think that'll work. I'm totally missing something here, though. Oh boy. I shouldn't have done this on camera. Should have planned it out first. Sorry, folks. It's a complete nightmare. <laughs> but the gist of it is get coolant in the, going in the loop. If it's too warm, send it to the aqua tuner, recycle it back in. Otherwise, just keep looping it. Yeah, I can't remember what I'm supposed to do here actually. Can't remember. I think I'm too tired to to do it. Uh,
No, that actually, I think that'll work actually, just like this. Um, It's too warm. It'll pass through, get cooled, come back. Don't need to use ceramic for this bridge. This is where I've kind of not left enough room for anything. Sure, there's supposed to be a bridge up here where I reinsert. Yeah, I think that's what I'm supposed to be doing. Now this, maybe this might actually just work just as it is. Probably not, but <laughs> oh, we got super cool coming in already. Okay, that's gonna pass through there. Uh, oh, I shouldn't have let it in yet. Uh. <laughs> Okay, it's gonna come in. It'll go in there. Uh, uh, that passes through. This is coming up this way. This is gonna be cold, so this can be radiant up to here. Bridge over. What a mess already. What a mess, what a mess. Uh, I don't know if my chamber is going to go this high, but so let's just use insulated ceramic. This pipe has to go. That's in the way. Oh, this is going to go to the. This is going to go two ways. This is not. Oh no, it'll go into the bridge preferentially. Okay, yeah, that's good. I think I have messed this up, but we'll see. This has to be ceramic. That's good, it's coming down. Now this has to be current temperature if below minus 210. I think I got that right. I need some automation connecting these two. Down to there. I think I have to build all this. We need scaffolding. We need scaffolding for them. Needs power. And ideally, this would be all back with temp shift plate just to keep everything super cold. That those take forever to build, so we won't do that just yet. seal up the bottom. Is this all reachable? Yep, yeah. okay. So, super cool comes in. We just need to get the loop going. We don't need this all the time. So goes, passes over, comes through here, makes a decision. If below negative 210 activate the shutoff which means it won't loop it'll go this way down to the aqua tuner yeah that'll work down to the aqua tuner drops 14 degrees comes through here wait a minute that's in that's out and then it rejoins crosses over the bridge and re-enters the loop yeah i think i i think i did that right 
That's got power. Oh. Oh, they can't get down there. That's the problem. Did we get a rocket back yet? I think we might. Yeah, it returned. It's refueling. I just got back. Okay. Our conveyor lower is all backed up. I'm not going to deal with that right now, though. The task at hand. There's no sense. I might as well just put regular ladders in here. So we're going to need to bring heavy watt wire over. are not building this. There they go. Okay, heavy watt wire. We're gonna bring you over. That's gonna take a long time to build as well. Heavy conductive wire. Let's use... Oh, we're running low on lots of stuff. Let's use iron. I'm gonna need a bridge there. That's coming all the way over here. Down to our aqua tuner. Now we could use two aqua tuners to kind of speed the process up. We gotta cut that line. And do a bridge, conductive bridge. I've never actually built one of these before, so you're seeing it raw. You might want to play it on uh, Two times speed, because it's going to be... Oh, I just messed that up. Big time. Oops. Okay, let's put it back. <laughs> Can't talk and think at the same time. Can't click buttons. There we go. Heavy conductive wire. Iron. There we go. I just want to see if we can get the loop going without taking up too much of your time. I don't think they're gonna get to it in time though. It's too much to build. It's all priority nine, haha. <laughs> Gotta save priority nine for when they trap themselves in a terrible, terrible place. I think you can probably follow the logic though, maybe. I know it's very confusing what I've done here. But if the coolant's too warm, cool it. Otherwise, loop it. And then we'll seal this room. Where are we building now? Ceramic, priority six. We'll seal this room. This room's probably way too wide. It doesn't need to be this wide. But we would seal it up. Ideally, we would suck all the gases out of here first. Like this carbon dioxide, it's if it got cooled, it would liquefy at the bottom and we'd get liquids we don't want. So ideally, we'd, do a, we'd seal the room with a pump and get it to a vacuum state. Current pressure. Activate if above. If below, 300. Dealing with a lot of lag as well. Okay, and that pump's going nowhere, so that would need to come inside, but I'm gonna... Yeah, let's just bring it in. That's cold, so we want insulated. Should I use ceramic? Oh, we're really running really low on ceramic, so let's use igneous rock. Regular vent's fine. If, 
if all we get done is the super coolant loop, I will be happy because that's kind of the most confusing part. Once you get a cool loop going, it, you just inject oxygen gas and it gets cold enough, it just liquefies. And then you got to make sure you insulate everything so that you don't lose your cooling. Okay, we're pretty close here. We're pretty close. I think I'm at the one hour mark, but we will push on here. It's possible I messed this up. Oh no. <laughs> it's working! It's freaking working. Oh, we got one more piece of pipe down here. Oh, that fish. We're gonna boil the fish. Okay. Here we go. So coolant's going in at 53, coming out at 38. The aqua tuner is going to get really warm, so this water is going to heat up over time. So that's why you want to use maybe a steam generator to delete the heat instead of water. So let's just see if our logic here is working. Uh, now it's locked up, and that's okay. Let's let's do this. Let's disable this pump. Priority nine. And then we will empty this pipe. Because now that we got our loop going, don't think we need any. We might need to leave a little bit of slack in the system so it can actually move. If I've done it correctly. Oh no. <laughs> they gotta disable that pipe first, or pump. Oh, it is. It's disabled. Let's cut this pipe so it doesn't do any more. Okay, that's cut. Let's empty this. I think I might have lock up here though. Maybe I need the pump. To kind of drive it. Now the aqua tuner should do that, maybe. And then deconstruct this. I don't know if I need this pump anymore, actually. Uh, I can't remember. Okay, this thing is not going to move on its own. I've done something wrong. Definitely done something wrong. I blocked. Well, it was working for a second. In, out, in, out, in. Yeah, I think I need to. Oh, unreachable food. Oh, Reggie. Oh, Reggie, what have you done? I guess we'll just. Let you out this way. That's not enough. Not enough to escape. Don't sleep. Don't give up. Don't give up, Reggie. I have faith. Oh, now they're stuck here. <laughs> Let's just put that back. Reggie, what are you doing? Come back. Quit napping. Okay, I think they need a different material to build that. Igneous rock. Oh, Reggie. Don't you want to live? Please wake up. It's not the end. It's not the end. You can escape. Yay! You escaped. Okay. I've messed this up. I think I need to I need to have the pump connected still. Maybe. But I think I've messed something up here. But basically this should be going in a loop and cooling down. I'll have to review what I the build I saw. 
I thought it would work, but there's something messed up. I think maybe this output's actually not going anywhere. I'm not quite sure. Maybe we just need to empty a pipe to put some slack in the system, but I think it needs a pump to drive it. That's probably the issue. Um, yeah. Anyway, so maybe next episode we'll continue on. Maybe I'll get this thing working off camera. And then I can just describe it. Uh, but that's we're on the we're on our way. We're on our way to making liquid oxygen, which is going to be used to make this rocket go farther. Because we're instead of oxalate, we'll use liquid oxygen, and I think it's it works like 133 percent versus 100 percent in terms of efficiency. So that means we'll be able to go a little bit farther. And this is kind of training us, training me to be able to build liquid hydrogen, which is slightly more involved than this, but not. It's a very similar concept, but you got to pre-cool the hydrogen quite a bit uh, through various steps and then put it through a system like this. So I hope that wasn't too scatterbrained, uh, confusing, too slow. You can always watch on two times speed. Sorry it didn't work out in the end, but it's close. So as always, uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time.